Hey guys, this is Gwen. Welcome to my channel, Home to Inspire DIY and Decor. Today is part three of my fall farmhouse DIYs for 2022. If you haven't already seen part one and part two, please consider checking out the playlist for more inspiration. Now let's get on to these projects. First, I'll be taking the color Old School by DIY and painting the wood board this color, giving it a good full coverage coat. Next, I'm taking the color Cake Batter and coloring or painting the picket fence slats that color. And this will be the base coat. And I did not record myself painting the top coat of the picket fences in the color Gypsy Green, but I did a rough sort of um, light distress coat on top of the cake batter so that the undercoat would show through in random spots, giving it a distressed look. And when those pieces were dry, I did use some Mod Podge to seal in the color as we are using this DIY paint, which can be activated again if um, it gets wet or um, if you don't seal it. So I just wanted to add the Mod Podge as a sealer and it also deepens that green color as well. The next thing I did was took those two pumpkins that I'm reusing from previous years. Those originally came from the Target dollar spot. And as you can see from the before pictures, I did have them decorated a different way. I just removed the old decorations from them. And I decided to cut off some strips from a Dollar Tree faux leather vinyl. And I did two strips of those so that I can use one for each pumpkin. I also cut a strip of the peel and stick wallpaper also from Dollar Tree and that wood um, like a barn wood looking design and I, I did the same thing with the one that looks like um, like a tin like a metal tin I also cut a strip of that also from the Dollar Tree. And just taking some of Aileen's tacky glue, I glued down the pieces of the faux leather strips. Now with the peel and stick wallpaper, I just removed the adhesive backing or the, the, um, the protective layer from the adhesive backing and I just pressed that on to the parts of the pumpkin that I wanted the design to be on. I knew I wanted to have some words on these pumpkins, so I took two scraps of wood, which I used as my base uh, or the background to my signs. I didn't paint those whatsoever. I just kept them the original um, finish, which is the original wood color. And I took some of the cork adhesive sheets that come from Dollar Tree and I cut them um, small enough to fit into each of those rectangular pieces of wood, just leaving a little uh, margin so you can still see the wood. 
I originally was going to create a vinyl decal using my Cricut machine. However, I do have these stamps from IOD and I decided to just use those. It's the letterpress um, stamp set from IOD. And I decided to go with the words, welcome autumn. I didn't want it to be too long of a phrase or anything like that. I just decided with the two words, one word on each of these wood plaques, so to speak. So using my Tim Holtz Distress ink in black, I just dabbed on some of the ink color to the back of these um, letters and stamped them onto the cork. Now I think with the cork, because it's textured, it didn't really absorb too much of the ink, which gave the finish more of a light coat. It didn't come out dark at all which is fine, but if you wanted to go over it with more paint, um, you can do that if that is your option. Um, or you can always go over it with a Sharpie as well if you'd like, but if you sort of like the um, distressed look, then this will work just fine. Now when all the pieces were attached, to the front of the pumpkins, uh, it was time to work on the back. This had to protrude um, from the background, which is gonna be the picket fence. And in order to achieve that, I took two of these wood blocks that I had on hand, and I just used some of my Gorilla wood glue and a little hot glue for that instant hold. And I attached it to the back sides of these pumpkins so that they would be um, protruding from the background, which is again the picket fence. It would give it more of a 3D effect. And as a way to also stand on its own, it, it also works in that advantage as well. So you'll see at the end how this becomes a freestanding wood sign that can be used indoor or outdoors um, just by using those wood blocks in between the pumpkins and the picket fences so that it can stand up, which I think was genius. Um, it didn't need anything else to support it. And this is a rather large and heavy piece when everything came together. So I think the fact that it can stand on its own, um, it really is an advantage. So I am very pleased with that idea. Once I had those wood blocks attached, I did go ahead and glue those pieces, again, using some wood glue and hot glue. Um, I attached them to the background um, picket fences and that big board that was painted at the beginning of this project. And they overlapped each other so that it looked as though they were, one was sitting in front of the other, which is a look I was going for. And once those were attached to the background, I did eventually um, later um, use my brad nailer to um, attach more nails just for a more secure hold. This, like I said, is a rather, uh, rather large and bulky piece. And I felt like using brad nails um, as a means of adding more security and hold um, was probably the best way to go because I wasn't really sure how well just the wood glue on its own would hold up and I want this to remain intact. So I did that later on in the video or after the video. Now this pumpkin wood sign was starting to come together and I was really liking the direction this was going. 
Um, so as a finishing touch, I knew I wanted to add some embellishments to the wood stems. So taking some scrap pieces of that orange burlap, it's a roll that I've had for a few years now. I just cut off a few strips and made a cute simple bow, just tying it into one knot in the middle. And I glued that piece on top of the stems. I also took some leaves from Hobby Lobby. It came in a big bunch and I just took a couple pieces from that. And again, I glued it using some hot glue to the wood stems, sort of um, hiding it underneath the burlap ribbon. I also took a piece of Dollar Tree ribbon. It's sort of like a brown, very muted brown plaid. I'm not really even sure you can call it plaid, but it's some type of design on it, but it goes very well with the whole fall look. And it's the right color palette for sure. And I just made a regular bow and glued that to the center of the burlap ribbon. And I thought I caught myself um, recording uh, the process where I took some push pins. They're metal tacks that you buy from the Dollar Tree or any office supply store. And I painted them in the Waverly Antique Wax. I believe I did um, base coat it with some plaster chalk paint. And then I added the um, Waverly Antique Wax on top and just sort of rubbed it off, giving it a full nail head look. And I just clipped off the backs, the pointy parts of the tacks, and used hot glue to just glue those to each corner of the Welcome Autumn sign. And this is how it came out at the end. And before I forget to mention, at the very last part of this project, I felt the right side of the pumpkin sign needed something because it had that piece of wood picket fence that was sort of just bare. And I took more of those brown leaves again from a pack that I bought from Hobby Lobby and just clipped off the pieces that I wanted. And I used some of those green hops that were from a Dollar Tree haul maybe a year or two ago and just clipped those off of the, the stems that it came in. And I just overlapped them on each other and this is how it came out at the end. I think it really added a nice touch to this whole entire piece. It filled in the area that needed more embellishing. And overall, this project came out super adorable, super sweet. It looks very high end and it's definitely well made. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this project. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. If you like how this came out um, or if you will be giving this a try for this uh, season. For project number two, this will be a very quick and very simple DIY. All I did was took one of those Dollar Tree wood tag signs that they have seasonally and I used the backside that had no design on it. But prior to doing so, 
I did、um, cover the back part with that decoration. It was a Valentine decoration on this particular tag, and I used a craft paper from Dollar Tree and just glued that onto the back side, just covering the design,、um, as I did want this to have a clean look. So, using the side that didn't have the design, I took some of this mixed up. Homemade、um, paint that I created this color with.、Um, I didn't have the particular color that I wanted to use, more of this burgundy tone.、Um, so I use a Deco Art chalk paint that I've had for years.、Um, it's actually getting pretty old, and I just I just took some of that and I mixed it with some、um, Apple Barrel acrylic paint in、um, some sort of brown color. And I just kept mixing it and mixing it until I got the the color that I wanted.、Um, I wanted to deepen it up a little bit, so I did add some of the Waverly Antique Wax as well to that mixture. And eventually, I came up with this sort of burgundy red、um, shade. So using that color, I went ahead and painted over the entire wood tag. It's actually made out of some type of what, a chipboard or Cardboard of some sorts, not actually wood, but you know what I mean.、Um, so I just painted this tag, the color of this paint that I created, and when that was dry, I did、um, use some masking tape to tape off some、uh, stripes. I was essentially trying to create some grain sack stripes to the bottom of this tag, and. You'll see how I do it on the video, where I tape off、um, just the right amount of space、um, that I wanted my main stripe to be, and then I proceeded to、um, do the same process,、uh, making thinner lines for my top and bottom striping. When that part was done and everything was dry, I decided to use my IOD stamps and letterpress, and I spelled out the word homemade pie. But the pie was actually in a different type of font. It's part of IOD different、uh, pack of stamps. I believe it's called Farm Hand. That's the bigger. Um, font that you see that the P I E is spelled out with. The homemade is from the letterpress IOD stamp set. So since I didn't have a white or a light colored stamp ink or stamp pad, I decided to use chalk paint instead.、Um, I took Cashew by Waverly, which is the same color that I used to make the green stripe at the bottom of the tag. And I just painted on or over the letters that spell out homemade and pie.、Um, I actually thought I was recording the part where I actually stamped on the wording.、Um, however, my camera must have turned off in the process. But all you see me doing、um, in this clip is、um, attaching all the words to the backing of the stamps and.、Um, Essentially, I end up、uh, just stamping on the words onto the tag, and this is how it came out. Now, for the pie that you see in the middle, which is the focal point of this tag, it did come from Dollar Tree. It came out this year, and it was in one of my hauls. If you didn't catch that haul,、uh, it is in my playlist. So feel free to go back and watch that. But it came with a、uh, two pack. One was a slice of pie, and one was the whole pie. And I used the one that had the whole pie, and I just glued it with some hot glue to the center of the words "homemade" and "pie." I sort of roughed up this whole tag over the stamp as well as the entire piece using the sanding sponge from Dollar Tree as well. So to finish off this project, I used jute rope from the Dollar Tree. Made a loop and I glued it to the back side of this tag sign, and I also used a half wood bead and glued it to the front of that hole where I created the、um, circle 
stamped image right above where the tag sits. And this does it for this project number two. This was super simple, but I think it came out adorable. And I really like how both of these projects came out. Please let me know what you think. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of home decor, DIY inspirations, Dollar Tree and shopping hauls and thrift hauls and thrift flips. So if that's your type of jam, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. Thank you for watching and hope you guys have a great day.